Alcatraz was a federal penitentiary for nearly three decades. In that time, there were 36 escape attempts. 23 were caught, six were shot and killed, and two drowned. But three men, brothers John and Clarence Anglin and Frank Morris, have never been found. And they crawled out of their cells up on the roof and escaped into the San Francisco Bay. And that, you got to give it to them, they, they broke the system. For 55 years, that legendary escape is still one of the greatest mysteries in American history. Welcome to Alcatraz. The allure partly fueled by popular shows and Hollywood, including the movie Escape from Alcatraz, starring Clint Eastwood. And what they did is they... I got an inside look at the infamous cells, normally off limits to the public, where the trio of bank robbers began their months-long plot. I'm standing in John England's jail cell. It is five by nine in the size of a standard pool table. If you take a look behind me, that's the air vent that he widened to escape through. They literally drill small holes around the existing vent and then push that concrete in. This photo shows the kind of meticulous work they did around the vent with the drill. On the night of June 11th, they were ready to go. After squeezing through this cement wall, they climbed up a network of pipes and plumbing before they made it here to the roof. X marks the spot. This was the actual portal to freedom for those three escapees. After they knocked off the air vent, they ended up here on the roof of the cell house and ran straight to freedom. Once they were on the ground, they went underneath the water tower and scrambled down to the smokestack at the north end, inflated their raft and paddled away, never to be seen again. In San Francisco, Betty Yu, KPIX 5.